Welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm Shobit Bhutani, Product Marketing Manager at VMware, responsible for vSphere, AIML, and DPUs. In this series, uh, we bring VMware and partner experts to talk about uh, VMware's vSphere and associated cloud products. These fabulous experts share their backgrounds, industry trends, and general tips for IT technical experts and their customers. In today's episode, uh, really excited to talk to Rupesh Shimkara, product manager at VMware. Uh, Rupesh is an expert of uh, vSphere and ESXi technology. We'll discuss a very important topic today, uh, lifecycle management, and things that VMware is doing to help with lifecycle management. Um, welcome, Rupesh. Thank you, Sovit, for having me in this episode. Wonderful. Wonderful. So before we jump into too much of the actual discussion topics, um, <clears throat> Rupesh, can you tell me a little bit about your background, what you're doing today at VMware, and most importantly, what's your favorite beverage, buddy? Mine's coffee. Oh, thanks, Sovit. Uh, mine is coffee, too. You know, like I enjoy coffee. So, um, Wonderful. well, I have been with VMware for... Um, last 13 plus years since 2009. I joined VMware IT as a cloud architect and storage architect. And I moved to VRealize team in 2015 um, as a customer facing architect role uh, and then become an engineering manager and a product manager. Um, so, uh, and with uh, vSphere uh, platform team, uh, I have been with them for last uh, 10 months. Uh, and right now I'm focusing on vSphere lifecycle manager uh, that's the one of the key products from VMware, um, and uh, you know I'm trying to much more simplify it so you know it it will be easier for our customers to upgrade their infrastructure and and host and clusters. Awesome, awesome! Thank you for that. That's really good explanation right there, Rupesh. So let's jump into the meat of this, right? It's one of the key things we hear a lot about customers, right? A lot from our customers. A lot is lifecycle management, right? It's a critical part of maintenance of business, right? You yep. have to keep keep doing it, right? Like software, hardware, network, hosts, images, et cetera, all need continuous upgrades, right? I mean, they're your key assets. You need to be able to, you have to keep them upgrading. However, it can take a lot of time, right? So it's something VMware is doing a lot of effort on, right? Yep. Um, but before we get too deep into that, right? I wanted to hear your thoughts, like for me, because you meet customers a lot, right? So what are you hearing about the, the specific pain points that they have? Yeah, so most of, uh, in my visit, most of our customers, they are talking about like, you know, how complex it is to upgrade uh, the hosts and clusters in their environment, especially when you get to a large scale environment, you know, you have many, many hosts and clusters and, you know, uh, literally customer keep track of all things in a spreadsheet and things like that, right? So. Uh, upgrading is a big pain point and uh, you know and also on top of that you know depending on like some hosts are in a newer version some hosts are in an older version and different hardware different hard you know so it it makes uh you know uh, very complex for our customers to upgrade their entire fleet and uh, you know so got it got it so there's time and then the other thing uh, also we hear is the amount of la lack of staff to do these activities right because it is expected to be very lean every year so yeah yeah yeah. So, you know, you want to automate as much as possible. You want to understand what 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 kind of application is running on that environments. Right. So it's it's not only upgrading, upgrading, but then, it, you know, the challenge is to understand and having that uptime for the application, making sure there is enough capacity to vMotion your VMs into the, you know, the host, you know, and then making sure even after the upgrade, things will work as, uh, you know, expected. You know, that's the compatibility, uh, you know, needs to be there. Right. So. Great. So it's it's. Lack of staff, right? Scale, right? Downtime concerns before and after and during these upgrades, right? All of these are an issue, right? Got it, got it. So let's talk about, you know, how, like, can you help me understand like uh, what VMware is doing to help with lifecycle management, uh, management in general? Like, I know we want to talk about, um, you know, the, the VMware vSphere Lifecycle Manager tool, right, in this. Can you share a little bit about what this tool is and its specific capabilities uh, to help admins in lifecycle management? Sure. Uh, that's a great question, Sovit. So vSphere Lifecycle Manager is a purpose-built tool to help customer upgrade their ESXi images, 
right? And a host and a clusters, right? So um, you, you have like multiple different, uh, you know, lifecycle operations uh, from day zero to day one to day two, you wanna make sure that, you know, upgrades are happening uh, in, a, in a right way. And, you know, so you wanna make sure that that's, that's the main purpose of lifecycle manager. Now, when we are talking about lifecycle manager, there is, you know, there are things that comes with the lifecycle manager, like, you know, you have a capability to build image, uh, you know, uh, you can combine VMware image with a vendor add-on and a components and things like that, uh, you know, and you build the image, you make, it is based on a desired state model. So, you know, you create an image and that will be your golden image and your host and uh, cluster should be compliant to that all the time. So if it's not compliant, we'll also show you the drift. And then, you know, if you see the drift, we notify you, right? So then you, you can remediate that, right? So, um, and also uh, with the vSphere Lifecycle Manager, uh, we provide capability to upgrade not only the vSphere image and the vendor provided images, but also like vendor provided firmware uh, that are in your hardware, right? So right now, most of our customers are upgrading hardware firmware separately, uh, you know, and then the vSphere images separately. Uh, with combining that in, into our own desired state image, you can, in one reboot, you can upgrade the whole thing. Excellent. Excellent. Now, we already have... You know, VMware already has a tool available. Uh, mm -hmm. And a lot of our customers are using it already called the VMware Update Manager. Mm -hmm. How is vSphere um, Lifecycle Manager tool better than, uh, you know, VMware Update Manager or, you know, sometimes people call it the WOM tool as well. But uh, can you share a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, so um, the, the key thing is, you know, in VOM, uh, VMware Update Manager, if you're using that, you need to download, uh, you know, uh, the VMware provided image. You need to download the vendor provided, like uh, add-ons, uh, like you know, VIBs and components separately. And for and also like you need to download, like if there are any third-party, you know, uh, VIBs that you require for your image, you need to download that as well. Uh, you know, manually download it, manually upload it, create different baseline for each of them, and then combining that as a baseline group. And only then only you can apply it to the host, uh, you know, in, in your environment. Right. So, uh, and to do this, you also have to jump between multiple different screens and things like that. Right. So that's um, it's it's much more simpler with the vSphere Lifecycle Manager. From one screen, you can actually create the image, and also not only create the image, but you apply and remediate and everything from one one single image, uh, one single screen. Got it. Got it. So it's simpler. You know, up, you know, manual download is pretty much finished, right? Because it automatically uploads. Yeah, uh, you know, upload, download, and you start going doing stuff, right? Yeah, now, yeah. it's got to be really cool, right? When you talk to customers, because if you have this, because if cu customers have hundreds of uh, hosts and image, you know, hosts and hundreds of clusters for that matter, the time saving here can be huge. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Perfect. Now, with this, uh, Rupesh, can you share a, a short demo? I think you have planned for us today. Yeah. I will be happy to. Okay, let me share my screen. Wonderful. Can you see my screen, Sobit? Yes. Okay. So basically, uh, I have a cluster uh, with three nodes. Uh, they are on a 701 vSphere. Uh, and this, this uh, cluster is still being upgraded with a baseline or a VOM. So in this, uh, in this demo, uh, short demo, I will show you, it will first convert the, uh, uh, the cluster into the VLCM single image. And then also at the same time, it will upgrade to the 7.0 uh, U2 version, okay? So there is a workflow. So you can go to the image, uh, uh, you know, from the update tab, you can go to image, set up an image, right? So uh, with the setup image, it will take you to that convert to an image uh, workflow. Uh, here from um, basically what you can do is you can uh, select what version you want to go to. If you are in 7.0.1, you, you can go to 7.0.2 or 7.0.3, or you can still be in 7.0.1, some other version as well, right? For, for my demo purpose, I'm going to select 7.0.2 E. And then next in the next step, you can uh, select the vendor add-on. Uh, let's say I have a Dell um, add-on. So, you know, you select 7.0.2 from the Dell. Uh, there is a 7.0.3, so I don't want to select that. I select 7.0.2. And when you select the uh, vendor add-on, it will also show you what are the components in that vendor add-on. So you, if you wanted to double check that, you can do that as well, right? So once you select that, um, the next thing is a firmware add-on, the one that I talked to you about, you know, the hardware vendor provider, they have their own firmware. So if you have an integration with a hardware support manager, like 
OEMI VV or OME VV or SB1 view, uh, you know, those kind of uh, hardware support manager, you can select that from here. Um, and uh, in addition to that, if you have third party VIB or components that you need, that can be added uh, from here from the component section. So once you have that, you can validate the image that will validate the compatibility between the software, between the, uh, you know, software compatibility between these images. So once you validate, you can save it. So once you save it, right, so uh, it will take you through a couple of workflow that are built in. First thing it will do is a hardware compatibility check. Uh, you know, if you have a vSAN hardware, it will automatically check the vSAN hardware compatibility here. Uh, and if there are any issues uh, with that image, it will, uh, you know, show you over here, right? And in addition to that, once the compatibility check is done, uh, you can you can run a pre-check with this image uh, to these three hosts within a cluster. And then, uh, so once you do that, uh, it will also show you, um, you know, if there are any issues uh, from between this uh, selected image and the, uh, and, uh, you know, desired uh, state image and the hardware. Right, so here you can see this is the 70U1 version. What is in current host? Uh, there are three hosts, and then this is the desired state image here. So once you do that, you can basically finish the setup image, you, and uh, it will finish set up the image. So that's uh, you know. So once you do that, you can do remediate all. So once you hit the remediate all, basically it will pick one host at a time, and then uh, you know, and it will apply that desired image into that host. And then it will, you know, again, once that host is upgraded, it will go to another host. It will, if there are any VMs in there, it will move the VMs to another host, do the vMotion, uh, put that host into maintenance mode, and then upgrade that host. And it will roll like that to the next host, right? So then, you know, you, you don't have any application downtime, your application keep running, you, you know, you, you, you hit remediate all, you can go grab coffee again, and then come back, you know, and then, you know, your host will be, uh, your cluster will be upgraded. And that's the demo that I have. Perfect, perfect. Thank you very, very much, Rupesh. That was really, really helpful. So I really enjoyed that demo portion a lot, right? Because everything was in one screen. You can just do all of those functions from one screen. So I think you know, our customers are gonna see a lot of value from this tool as well. So this was really, really good, Rupesh. Really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me today, Rupesh. Thank you, Sobi. Thanks for having me today. Thank you. Excellent, wonderful. So. Love the conversation. Like I said, I really enjoyed the conversation with Rupesh uh, with you today. Uh, and with this, we're coming to the end of this episode. If you like this episode, join in for the next one. This is your host, Shobit Bhutani, signing off. Have a fabulous day, evening, night, week, wherever you're at. Bye-bye till next time. Mm -hmm.